Hi guys, and thanks for watching my video of the movie McFarlane Movie Maniacs Series 7 The Texas Chainsaw Massacre figures. Now I have done another video already to be honest. We're just looking at the Movie Maniacs Series 7 line. Um, and I literally just watched the new Texas Chainsaw and obviously just having a look at the figures, the figures I have and I realised that I hadn't shown the old Monty in packet. If you if you watch, I'm not going to get all these out of packet, of all the out of packet ones. Um, I just want to show you guys the, the main, to be honest, more so this guy here, the, the in packet one. I realised that in the um, video I did for the Movie Maniac Series 7, which looks at the whole line, um, I didn't show the the old Monty in packet, so I just thought I'd quickly do that. It just reminded me that I hadn't done that, and that's why I'm doing this video, really, to be honest. Um, so, if you want to see these guys out of packet, check out my other video, which is the Movie Maniac Series Seven video, and you'll get to see these guys out of packet and have a little look around the figure. Um, but in in the Texas Chainsaw Massacre line we have um, Aaron, Leatherface, Old Monty and Sheriff Hoyt and there are another two figures in this series which are Colonial Marine Corporal Hicks from Aliens and <laughs> Robocop from Robocop. <laughs> Bit obvious but there we go. Um, on the back of the packaging, they're all exactly the same, to be honest, apart from obviously a, a, a picture of the relevant figure that's in the packaging. Um, so, in the on the back it says, the classic Movie Maniacs action figure series is celebrating its 7th birthday for 2004. We bring fans a variety of different figures, all fully detailed and accessorised from several different film properties including in-demand favourites like Robocop, a colonial marine from Aliens and several figures from the remake of the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, and of course on the back there we see Aaron here, Leatherface, Old Monty and Sheriff Hoyt from the Texas Chainsaw Massacre and like I say Hicks and Robocop. So that's obviously Aaron in there. It does look pretty cool when it's all set up. All the um, meat hooks and slab of meat and everything. There of course is the main man being Leatherface. There and again that, that's a nice little sculpt. These aren't re these are um, basically pre-posed figures and you can't really do anything with them apart from what they're meant to do to be honest. So there's Leatherface and there is Sheriff Hoyt. All these packages are quite heavy and all, they're quite big big bits to be honest. So there's Sheriff Hoyt there on the back of the camper van. And lastly, the reason why I'm doing this video, to be honest, is to show you old Monty and Packet. Um, now the interesting thing, what I really wanted to show you in, in the, with old Monty and why I'm doing this video, is there's two versions of old Monty in Packet. Um, obviously if you're completist, you're going to have both versions. Um, and what they are is Old Monty is lower down and the wheelchair is turned upside down and above his head. So it's a bit of a mishmash in there. I personally do not know which is the rarer to be honest. So I cannot, um, so I'm just going to move this camera a little bit there. So I cannot advise as to which is the rarer to be honest. Um, I don't know. Although. I will be honest with you and say that I've seen more of the one with the wheelchair the wrong way around, um, with the wheelchair upside down and the back of the chair goes down behind Monty and he's a little bit more forward um, and you can't, I, I, I think um, either people, you know, I, I, I don't know why I didn't want to have this on display, 
um, or as, and so basically his stumps are covered up by the sticker yeah so that might be a reason why they changed the packaging um, to him being lower you know I, I dare you know there's the fact that why is you know that on display when you've got Sheriff Hoyt standing in front of a, a wind you know the back of a van with all blood around a hole in the window um, so maybe the one with the wheelchair upside down was the first one um, and you know they changed they changed that because people didn't like the fact that the wheelchair was upside down it just looked silly and they wanted to have him look more like he should in packet so they changed it to this one I don't know I really don't know um, it's one of those things I would like to know and obviously if anyone out there does know please let me know but um, I personally don't know which one is the rarer um, I, I guess there is a reason why they changed the packaging because it, it's not like you have an alternate anything in there is alternate or they changed the paint or anything it's just literally the way he's been laid out in the back um, and obviously they've gone to some effort as well by basically ch changing the, the impression inside the packaging to accommodate the fact that the wheelchair is upside down in there so they've they've gone to some effort to to move Monty down there or to move Monty up I don't know um, but that's all I wanted to do I just wanted to give you a quick look at you know at, at the old Monty and Packer um, you know sorry I didn't do it in the other in the other video and of course if you want to um, see these figures out of packet check out my other videos um, and and check out the McFarlane Movie Main X Series 7 video and you get a chance to see all these out of packet. I don't want to get them all out again because it's just a bit you know I've done it already. Um, so yeah so anyway as always thanks for watching guys I just want to give you a quick little look at that um, just for reference more than anything and appreciate you watching as always please leave comments and I'll catch you all again soon. All the best bye bye